So I'm sure you've all noticed Kaoteng province is experiencing a resurgence of COVID-19 cases, and this has been ongoing for the past three weeks. We've been seeing a rapid increase in the widespread community transmission. So in other words, what we've seen is the virus spread from the initial clusters that were identified in Swane district is now present in all the districts. And what we've noticed also is that the risk of COVID-19 in the community has increased. And there are a number of indicators that tell us this. And I'll present some of those indicators in this presentation today. One of them is a seven-day rolling average of daily cases, which we've seen a very rapid increase in that. We've seen um, more than 20% per day increase in the seven-day rolling average on average this past week. We've also seen an increase in the proportion of tests that are positive, which is a very strong indicator of the level of community transmission. And that's gone above 10%. We've also seen an increase in the reproduction number to 2.3, which means that the number of people each infected person can, uh, can infect has gone from one to about two people per person. We've also seen an increase in COVID-19 admissions, but not to the extent that we've seen cases. And also, we've, uh, in the last week or so, there have been re uh, reports, as you all know, that the resurgence in COVID-19 is driven by the new variant of concern called Omicron. So I just want to show a few slides to just highlight some of these things that I've spoken about just now. So the first one is the point we're making is there's been a rapid and sustained increase in COVID-19 cases in Gauteng. So just uh, as, as a case in point, the most recent data for yesterday showed there were six, just over 6,000 daily cases of COVID-19 reported. Um, and 6,000 is actually the number of daily cases that we saw at the peak of the second wave and the first wave. So it's a large number of cases in one day. The seven-day rolling average of daily cases has also increased to just under 3,000. And the rate at which the seven-day rolling average is increasing right now uh, we're, we're very likely to, to hit uh, even higher numbers of cases before the end of this week. So just one last point about the number of cases. If we compare week on week, the last epidemiological week that ended 27th November, we reported 9,159 cases, which was a 330% increase in cases per week compared to the previous week. So these data are just showing us that the rate of infection in the community has increased.